Hi ladies. How is everybody? How are you? Let's suppose that you're writing a really uh, important see, email. See, I even get I even get the whole ad thing even when I'm trying to log on to the live dashboard. Hi everybody. How are you? What's going on? I'm sorry. It's been like ridiculous day today. You know, I cannot make up this stuff. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Dee. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Elaine. So I can't even make up my life, you guys. It's just ridiculous. <coughs> totally, <coughs> absolutely ridiculous. <coughs> I told Diana I had to get myself some tea. I haven't had any. So the, the, the thing with me was that I started to... Um, make myself some tea and then well, I told Diana I was going to plug my stove back in to see if it would work and then the power went out so I took it as an omen but I have like one of those electric hot pots you know so I needed some tea and I told her I needed to make some before we started so tell me how you guys are I'm going to clean off my desk I possibly live wet under a little black cloud. No, I don't think so. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Mildred. I know my, it wasn't just me. It was the whole, my whole area of where I live. It happens sometimes on an island. You know, it's like things that everybody takes for granted. It's just, it, it, it's ridiculous here. I don't know how to, uh, to tell you any more than that, but it is. It's just, it's so ridiculous. I am going to... And this would make sure I shut all my other windows on my computer so that, you know, so that nothing goes, nothing else can happen. Hi, Susan. Ah, uh, you plugged my show today. Thanks, Brenda. Well, today we're going to do a little bit of Christmas in July and, you know, I was trying to find, well, the one thing I didn't wasn't able to do is I was trying to find, I make homemade Christmas ornaments every year with my kids, I make them with my daughter's school, I do it with a bunch of different things, right, and they're always different, and I have tons of them, but of course, you know, I didn't look start looking for them until this morning, and then the electricity went out, and then I just didn't even bother, so I only have a couple, but I've made every kind of possible Christmas ornament you can think of. Um, I love these little birds, and I do have a video on them on um, YouTube, but I can show you guys how to make them. They're just made out of cardboard and, and uh, book pages. This one's seen a little better days. He got smashed. He was in something. And then I've made these paper wreaths out of a little, it's made out of a circle punch, and they look like flowers. And, I'm sorry, my desk is such a mess. I make these hearts, but I couldn't find them, so I started to make one. And then I asked you guys to get puzzle pieces. A couple of years ago, I made these with my daughter, who's 10 now, but I must have made it when she was in the first grade, and we made puzzle piece reindeer. So I started to make one, and it didn't finish them. I, I thought that I would be able to find, I have a whole box of them. At some point during our, um, during our, maybe not our stream, obviously, in the next couple of weeks, I'll find all of my ornaments because I have snowflakes and other stuff and you know you name it I've made up. What are you guys writing? Hi Pam! Hi Carla! Hi Valerie! So what I wanted to tell you aside from the reindeer all of these things you can use in your journals. You can make them for journaling charms or whatever. You don't have to like just make them um, for, for Christmas okay so what you need is you need some cardboard if you have some puzzle pieces um, you know it's it's what's kind of fun is like I go through store shopping and I always find puzzles and many of them are missing hi Fiona many of them are missing um, hi making craft you have to tell us your name um, you know, or you, right now you guys are in yard sale heaven, right? Diana was telling me she's going to go to a bunch of yard sales. So when you guys are, are in yard sale heaven or yard sale mode, 
this is the perfect time to, to find your, your pieces to make your Christmas ornaments. You know? So tell me what everybody else is doing. Tell me about you. I know that you guys don't have my life of like the electric going out. You know what happens? It doesn't happen all the time here on this island, but the, today was the first time in like, I would say in a in a good while. I, we ha, I have we haven't had this in a good while, so I was just like seriously. And you know, I called her. I went over to my neighbors, and then they were like, "Yep, it's out." Cause our house is solar powered, so it's a but it, but it also runs on you know like they have to store the solar and then that runs that's plugged into something. Our electric is solar powered, but it goes through the electric company. I don't know how to describe it to you. You know, like we we sell our 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 um, energy back to the electric company. Hi, Bet. And so everything went out. I was kind of more worried about my fridge, but it was good. I had phone service because I've cell the cell tower wasn't out, but I didn't have any internet, so I couldn't even get on. So <clears throat> if you're gonna make these little reindeer with me, this is the whole premise. I mean, you just gotta work with it, and you gotta look at your puzzle pieces. So you know, you need like three or four puzzle pieces. You can make them in any size, but What's cool about it is if you start looking now at your, um, my head can't think you guys, your yard sales, you will be able to find. And today I'm using Michelle's favorite thing, a glue gun. I don't use it that often. I love a glue gun, but because I like the option to move things around, I don't always use it. So this will give you something cool to go look for if you guys want to, um, you know, if you want to do this. Now, if you have, there are dies, there are Sizzix dies that are rain, that have puzzle pieces. So you could do that as well. What's cool about this is once you start making them, they all start developing a personality of their own. And you'll start to like them more and more. And some, some you'll like more and some you'll be like, oh, I really love him. So I know he doesn't look like a reindeer right now, but he will. And what's really neat is you could also, if you guys have teacher or librarian gifts or any sort of like gift where people or bank teller gift, you can make these, stick them in a card, and they look super cute. So this is like four puzzle pieces put together. This is like a tinier puzzle. They're all good. Trust me, they all, all end up looking like a reindeer. So tell me about you guys, tell me, so we're going to make, I'll make a couple of reindeer, maybe we'll make some birds, I'll make a couple of hearts, and I made stars too. So if you guys want to make along, get your puzzle pieces out, hot glue gun if you have one, if not, use regular glue. If you're going to use like a Mod Podge or whatever, or a Thick Designer Tacky, you're going to have to wait until it dries, you know, so, but this will give you the idea. And some of them are going to, I mean, they all end up cute, no matter what. They end all end up good. Even if you don't, even if you go, that doesn't look, it, it, they all end up good. If you have those googly eyes, which I do somewhere, but don't ask me where, I'm just going to paint on eyes. If you have googly eyes, these are really fun to do googly eyes on, too. You can also make puzzle piece snowflakes, which I can, I, I'm going to find, I'll, I'll, it was because I didn't, I will have potty, as you guys call him, climb up in the, in our little crawl space and get the box down. With no light on today's girl, I, nothing worked. I, the light up there doesn't work. I, we have big, huge spiders. I was just not in the mood for a spider extravaganza, if you know what I mean. What are you saying, Lynn? You started an altered book? Awesome! You're cutting pieces, you're cutting, Lynn says she started, she's altering a book and she's calling it Abandoned Places and she's fussy cutting pictures for a Sleeping Beauty collage on a castle page. That's awesome. Hottie alert, oh my god. 
And I didn't pity Pat Pat today. I mean, he didn't even ask me with the with the electric ad. It was like, are you kidding me? You guys, I think it only happens. It feels like it only happens on days that I'm in a stream. I, you know, I guess I, I told you guys if I don't plan anything, nothing, and I just do it spur of the moment, then it seems like it goes well. But when I make a plan. So get your cardboard out, girls, and we're not going to make the flower one today. We can do that one next time just because I don't have my circle punch close to buy, but I can walk you through it if you girls want to make it. If you guys have ever made my magazine flowers, that's all this is. This is actually made out of receipts. So the the other thing is most of the things that I make, I give if it's I don't keep, so... Some of the ones I made last year I don't even have anymore. I mean, I kept a couple for my own Christmas tree, but I put these in Christmas cards and mail them out to, you know, instead of giving gifts or whatever to my faraway family, I make them a Christmas ornament. And my nieces and nephews are all, <clears throat> at least the ones that are grown. When they're younger, I would just send money, but the ones that make more money than I do working, I <laughs> don't even bother. I just send them a... I make a whatever kind of ornament. It doesn't even have to be, you know, just a little handmade ornament and send it to them. And believe it or not, you know, initially you may think, oh, they don't like it, they don't appreciate it. But now, like, if I miss a year, and sometimes I do because, you know, I'm traveling or whatever, or just not inspired, I'll hear about it. I'll hear about, like, if I send money instead or <laughs> send a store-bought gift instead, I'll hear about, like, well, where's the Christmas ornament? So these are fun if you guys have a Sunday school class or stuff like that. This is so fun and so easy to make and they're really fun um, teacher presents too, you know. But when I make them for the teacher instead of making them, I wouldn't make it this big. I'd make it smaller and make it like a brooch so that they could wear it. So I'm just painting out the white. Obviously it's going to be painted a different color. So that's the beginning of our beginning of my ornament. Okay, so what do you, I'm missing what you guys are saying. Hotty <laughs> alert, so funny. Um, you know what? Well, just take your time, Fiona. Don't even worry about it. You can do it whenever. You don't even have to use hot glue. You know, I don't normally use hot glue. Normally I use Mod Podge or Aileen's or Yes Paste or stuff like that. But I just happen to have my hot glue gun out. So, hi Ash! Don, you're working on a report? What kind of report are you guys working on? What kind of report are you working on? Can you guys believe it's already Friday? I swear, this week has, feels like it's flown by. This week has flown by. So who's going to make along? If you're going to make along and you don't want to make the reindeer and you want to make the birds, I will show you the template of what you cut out for the birds, okay? Just going to... And of course, I blew a uh, paint in my hands. Um... For the reindeer, all you need to do is situate your pieces so you think till you think they look good. Okay, there's no like, like this would be a good face, and that would be a good wing. I mean, a good antler, and this one would be. Hmm, obviously, this is a tinier one. This would this would be a good antler too. Now I would just need a a face part. So. just need something to glue the antlers on to. So, and you don't have to paint them if you don't want to. I just think they look cute. And if you just had, um, if you just had a little, um, little googly eyes, you could do it without anything. So, what kind of report are you working on, Dawn? Did I miss it? Did you say? And I'm like, 
too busy like gluing to be able to to pay attention. And you use the tiniest bit of glue, you don't need a lot. I'm gonna glue ribbons on the back of them. What did I I'm missing? You're gonna cut birds and hearts. Okay, so let me just show you how to do the birds. Let me just um, and you don't. I only. I the birds are fiddly, so you know it, they're gonna be gluey. So I don't want you to get like all up in my space about the birds. Okay, so let me just show you how you cut the birds out. I'm gonna unplug my glue gun because it is. I, mine is a tiny one, but it's a high temp tiny one. And, ooh. You know, I left lately with electric. I, I don't need any extra weird stuff. Okay. So hearts, you're going to need two hearts. You put, you take, you glue one on top of the other. Um, Ash, what did you say? It's good to have work even if it's not the funnest. Okay. I agree with you. Bet is, is our Susan here or is she working? Susan has an amazing job. She showed me, did you guys see the post she made about her job? It was like crazy. She works for like this huge shipping company. Okay, so with the hearts, you want to cut out two of them. Well, okay, you don't have to, but I do. I make them dimensional. So I cut out one bigger than the other. But you don't, you can do it any way you want. There's no rules to it, okay? And this is just cardboard from an Amazon package. There's not like some special cardboard. This is a great way, you know, you guys know me, the recycling thing is all it. So I freehand one heart and then I cut it out and then I trace it to the next one and I cut the, the next one out just a little bit smaller, okay? Now these are fiddly, so you can cover them in paper napkins, you can cover them in book pages. Um, if you're going to cover them in napkins, you might want to cover it like with something first. So you might want to cover it with like recycled book pages first and then napkins. Or, I mean, you can do multiple layers of napkins. I'm not telling you what. It's just, um, you know, you might, or prime them first, you know, just so then. It's sort of like paper mache. Okay? So one heart is going to be on top of the other and one's just slightly bigger than the other. And that's all. That's, that's it. Okay, so the birds are really super simple. Okay. The key is you got to have these three... If you want your, if you want to have... I wish I could show you my more elaborate ones, but anyway, next time. If you want to have them to have the... the to keep their fun little strips of tail, you need three little pieces coming off of it. So, and I do it in one thing so and I'm not a fabulous drawer so don't even it's not even about the drawing okay so you have the beak right and you can use a corner of whatever you already have you have your beak and then you have your body and then you have one two and then three so this is the whole thing and the, trust me they start to take on a personality of their own too so you can make it bigger or smaller and it doesn't matter don't worry about it if it's not perfect it doesn't matter it's gonna come out it comes out anyway it comes out anyway so no matter what it's gonna come out now the birds I only do one layer on. I don't do a bunch of layers. So tell me about what what's what's been up with you guys since I I only talked to you guys a couple days ago. So what's been up? Tell me what's going on. Anybody else besides me have the ridiculous ridiculousness? My perfect. <laughs> it's boring. Oh no. You're five minutes behind everybody, Susan. It doesn't matter. We're just happy you're going to join us. No matter what. 
Susan, did you ever get any sleep the other day? That was crazy. After our 4th of July live stream, I think it kept Susan up a little too long. Am I right, Susan? It kept you up too long? This cardboard is so stiff. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect, okay? Because it will... T it comes out every time. It doesn't matter. I don't want you guys to go, oh, well, that looks weird. They're supposed, first of all, they're supposed to be fun and funky. They're not supposed to be, like, perfect. And they, and they have, they end up having a life of their own anyway. So don't worry about it. Okay, but they are fiddly. I'm telling you right now, they're fiddly. So if you guys aren't in the mood to get your hands gluey, then don't even start it. Because they are totally fiddly. They are very fiddly. Get my cardboard. You were cranky all day, Susan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It happens to me too. You know, it happens to me when I'm um when I'm uh it happens to me when I have when I have a lot to do. Then I get super 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 cranky. Then I get super cranky. This one has this one needs to curve up. This one curves up more than curves down. Now, I've put a little piece of wire inside of it, but it's not necessary. You can, uh, you can just, I'll get all the ones that I have at home. I have a bunch in my window, but you guys, I didn't feel like crawling up in there and getting them out. The kids took them off the Christmas tree and stuck them in the window. So, they're probably dusty as anything, because I don't dust. Are you girls dusters? I'm not a duster. I am not a duster. And we leave all of our doors and windows open here because it's hot. So, the dog is behind me. Can you guys hear her crying? Hi, Ann. Hi, Lynn. Okay, so everybody, all you lurkers out there, say hi. Say hi. We need some highs. We see you lurking. Say hi. Now, once you start with these um, with these birds, you get gluey fingers. I'm just telling you. I haven't figured out how to do it where there's no where my fingers don't get gluey because you got to put the book pages on it. So you do get gluey fingers. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. And and it's fiddly. It's like making those paper buttons. It's very fiddly. I mean, they come out good, but it's not um, it's not neat crafting. So if you don't feel like getting anything on your hands, you might want to pass on the on these. The dog is behind me crying. I guess I'm I, I'm in the chair with her and she's not liking it. She wants me to be. I guess she wants me to get out of the chair. Why are you crying? What do you want? Can you stop? What, you want this? Can you lay down, please? Okay, what happened? What did I miss? What are we doing flowers for? That's a vacuum before sucking up dust. Oh, Anne, you're so funny. Okay, well, you need the tails because otherwise you don't get this. You need them. Would you stop? You can't have whatever's down here. I don't know what it is you want. What is it? Okay, she's sitting in the back of my chair and she's like crying. Okay, so we have a heart. We have a reindeer. The reindeer, I guess I'm going to paint brown really quick and then he can dry. And...
Can you guys hear him crying or is it just, can you hear her crying? What are you crying for? Stop. You guys, she's sitting here crying. I don't know what she wants. Can you get down? So, I started thinking about what, did you guys, have you started thinking about who and what, who you're giving gifts to and what you're giving? So we are going to make a box. We're going to make a wish box. So for that, you just need to save some cardboard from your, any kind of cardboard. Thinner is better though. It's easier to work with. So we need that. And then rice paper. That's what you, that's what you um, cut up and put inside the box. And so I'm thinking we can do serendipity paper on top of the box. So you guys start making your serendipity paper or collecting your stuff for your serendipity paper. Okay? And then... Then we will... Cover our box with serendipity paper. We'll make the box, cover the box, and then I'll show you and we'll put the, the rice paper inside of it. And then what you do for the wishes is you give them a, they write their wishes on the rice paper and then you're supposed to burn them and the rice paper um, burns really fast and it's really cool. Okay, I'm missing what you guys are saying. You want to make some fabulous things for the ladies that helped you with your kitty, Ash? Oh, that's so sweet. Alright, you guys, I'm going to have to put her out. What is it? <laughs> I don't know why you're crying and what you want. <laughs> you guys, this has been my day. This has been my day. And she's crying, and I have no idea why. She's on, in the chair with me. She's looking at the floor, and there's nothing there that I can see. I mean, there's some paper. I just put some cardboard down there, but she doesn't want that. Okay, here's the beginning. That's one reindeer, and then I'll work on the second one. I'm going to get up and put her down. Okay, you have to get up. You have to go down. You have to. All right, get out of my chair. Come on, watch your head. All right, go ahead. She's too much. I don't know what is going on with her. What are you crying for? There is nothing down here. Go get it if it's something you need. Okay, so for the hearts, you want to glue two together. And I'm going to glue that together with, um, you know, like Mod Podge or Techie Glue or anything like that. A little bit watered down. Not super thick, but a little watered down. It's a rat. Oh, please don't say that. Can I tell you? Please don't say that. We don't... You guys are terrible. No, there's no field mice or anything. No, the cat's asleep over here, so if there was something, she would get it. I don't know what she's crying for. They're all missing my daughter. I really think that's what it is. The cat, I'm telling you, with, with the fireworks, they were all on me, the cat and the dog. And... Pretty much it's been that way since she's been gone. I think they just really miss her. Now, you know what? You can also use your serendipity paper for um, for your birds, too, if you wanted to. I mean, you don't have to just cover them with book pages. I just did it because I have so many book blocks. But you could use your serendipity paper. I'm just thinning down my glue. Um, you could use your serendipity paper on, on that, too. So, you know... Oh, and there must have been paint on here, too, so my glue is going to be... Uh, see, you guys? There was, there was some sort of paint that was activated. <laughs> this is my life. I may have to get a clean one. I'm going to go ahead and use it, and then the top layer will, have, will be something clean. 
You could also use your baby, if you guys um, save your dryer sheets or baby wipes, you could use that for your birds too. You know, do any of you guys save your painted baby wipes or painted papers? You could do that too. You don't have to just do birds. I mean, just do book pages. But I have this huge book block, so I'm going to use that. Me is a different one. This this paper is super thick. Remember what I was telling you guys about the the quality of your paper? Well, you definitely don't want super thick quality paper when you're doing this. I know I have another book block around here too. You want you want easy paper to 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 tear up. Easy paper. Hi, Diane. How are you? Oh, Michelle Scott's awesome. If you guys haven't joined Michelle's... Um, hi, Danina. If you guys haven't joined Michelle's streams, I mean, Michelle's... Yes, her streams and stuff, go over. She's Michelle Scott on YouTube. And she's also... You guys write her the name of her Facebook group on here. What's the name of her Facebook group, you guys? Somebody write it on here. I'm going to get a different glue and I'm going to get a different thing so that I don't end up having... Otherwise, my bird's going to end up being that purpley color. Not that it matters, but... Hi, Lisa! Hi, Linda! Hi, Rachel! Okay, so the cool thing about making these birds... Now, of course, I don't have a really big brush here. You know, the, the bottom layer, it doesn't really matter because you're going to overlap them, but you're just going to decoupage them the same way you would anything else. You know, just in haphazard. I think that the more haphazard, the better. The body parts don't matter, but the other parts do. The other parts, you need to do strips. Okay? The other part you need to do strips. Okay, Michelle's Facebook group is called The Art for Crafter Where Imaginations Meet. Hi, Kimber. Hi, Kimberly. So this is how it works for me with this Christmas ornament thing. I make them until I'm sick of them. Okay, so I'll make like, I may sit down and I'll make, I don't know, I may make dozens. And then, and then I get, when I'm sick of it, I'm done. So that's how it works for me. Oh, no. Prayers for Rachel. I'm sorry, too, Diane. That's, I'm so sorry. Now, if you don't want people to be able to see your words, you might want to think about making your... Um, I need a different brush. How did I get here? Not my brush. Um, you need a different... If you don't want people to read your words, you want to cut your paper pages small yeah there's Kimber and Kimberly you're right isn't that awesome all right all you people lurking out there say hi all you need to do is say hi so we're going to make a bunch of different Christmas ornaments, and then one of them we will definitely make will be, um, I told you guys we would do the embroidery ones, the really easy ones. And that is really great for you guys, if you, those of you that like to do um, flowery journals, flower junk, flower junk journals, that is really good. Those, the silk embroidery ones, I'll show you how to do it. And I'll give you, you definitely need... You can buy silk embroidery, uh, it's actually, it looks like ribbon, it's silk embroidery ribbon, 
and it's not expensive. You can buy it at a big box store. You need a big eyed needle. You need something to embroider it to. Okay, wait. Oh, Fiona's writing, tea dyed laces turned out awesome. Oh, and the, but the avocado dye didn't. Well, I haven't frozen my avocados, so who told you to freeze them? Did they, is it because it was like a, it, you, it was, um, no, I have never frozen. I'm sure you can freeze them, but I haven't done it. This glue is so thick. Does anybody else's glue get thicker? Mine does. It's like, I went to use my Mod Podge the other day, and it was just so thick, I couldn't even, I couldn't even get it to come out. So I had to like, pour it was like ridiculously thick. Diane, we're sending prayers, definitely. It's like, we only have each other, girls. We only have each other. We all have to remember that. You know? We get all caught up thinking that we have each other and prayers work. They really do. I've seen miraculous things happen for people when more than one person is keeping them in a positive light. This is fiddly like the buttons, girls. If you don't want your hands gluey, I'm just forewarning you. It's fiddly. So you want to cover the whole thing. You want to do your you want to do your um, your heart the same way. If you want to do it with book pages, you don't have to. You can do it with paper napkins. You can do it with. In fact, I might cover it with book pages first and then go back. Not the bird, but I could do the bird and paper napkins too. The key is, I think, if you were going to do it in paper napkins for the bird, you might want to um, gesso it first or, you know, use a, something to cover the brown, the corrugated cardboard. Now, you can make all these smaller and more miniature, and you could use them as journaling charms, too. I've done that as well. Oh, my God. Do you have a love-hate? Kimber says she has a love-hate relationship with glue. Okay, why is that? You have to be a little bit more specific, Kimber. Why is that? Why do you have a love-hate relationship with glue? What is wrong with your... What is the love-hate relationship with glue? Okay. This one not gonna look good. That one's brown. I'll glue a little bit more of my the paper, and then I'll finish my little... Why do you have a love-hate relationship with glue? Somebody asked me the other day, what was the craft supply I couldn't live without? And I said glue. And they said, they said, you yeah, know, they didn't think of that as like, I said, well, I use glue. I mean, I can find stuff to make crafts with that I don't have to buy, but glue I need. What did you say, Susan? You can't draw a crooked line. How are you going to draw a bird? <laughs> it's not that hard, Susan. I'm telling you. It's not. It's like, it's not even a bird. It's like a, I mean, it is a bird, but you can do it. I'm telling you, you can. It is not that hard. Okay? It is not that hard. If it was that hard, I wouldn't be able to do it. This is such a forgiving thing. I've done this with little kids, okay? With like little kids and they draw their own. The key for the bird is it doesn't matter. This part is the most important. The back part where the three little tail pieces are. So am I missing it, did you say? I've made these as journaling charms. What's really cool if you make them as journaling charms, though, you definitely need to seal them because people, for Christmas ornaments, you don't really touch them a lot, but 
for journaling charms, you would, so you want to put like a coat of Mod Podge or a coat of, you know, whatever sort of acrylic sealer you have. If you have, uh, if you have all those acrylic sealers, you could use that too. Whatever kind. Whatever's your favorite. You know, and I know some people don't like Mod Podge. I actually love it, so, you know, it's up to you. You can make anything. You can make a cat. I'm going to find my stuff I've made. Last year I made a whole menagerie of paper mache style animals that were, some of them were good. Some of them weren't so good. I'm not going to lie. But we made, we decided we wanted um, animals for our Christmas ornaments. And so we made paper, I made a giraffe and an elephant and these birds I've made for many years. So it's not, the birds aren't. Thanks, Danina. They're fun. I mean, they're fun as journaling charms. I mean, you can see if you made them small enough, they'd be so fun. You just have to seal them so that when people constantly touch them all the time, they don't get weird. So, I mean, it's just easy. This is sort of like paper mache. This is probably cheating paper mache. Paper mache is probably not, you know, this is probably cheater version. You know me, i got to do it like the easiest possible way. I can't do it any other way. But, you know, I think because I have so many, because I've taken so many books apart, I have so many book blocks, that's what it is. You know what, how I clean my brush, does anybody have any Mod Podge cleaning, um, hey Kimber, I'm there with you, I glue my, I glue the pages on myself too, so don't even feel alone, I mean, you're not the only one, we all do it, you know, you're not the, you're not the only one that glues yourself, okay, we all do it. How I clean my Mod Podge brushes is I take them to the sink and I, first of all, you need to clean them, you need to clean them as soon as you finish using it, you know, or keep a thing of water with them. Get a cheap vegetable brush, you know, at the hardware store, you guys have a dollar store, you probably can get them at a dollar store, you know, the stuff that you would scrub vegetables with, and I scrub my brushes. I scrub the, the glue and the paint out of them. And I don't even have expensive brushes. I have relatively I have cheap ones. You know, unlike Hottie, who has like, he has like really nice brushes because he is like a fine art painter. I told you, he doesn't pity pat pat like me. So he, I, but I clean them and I scrub them like I, yeah, with just water. Water and you know my favorite soap is Dawn dish soap. Because it will, it is, is a, has some sort of a solvent in it, so that's what I have. I use Dawn dish soap, and I have a vegetable brush, and I wash my brushes in Dawn dish soap, and then I brush them out with a vegetable brush. And sometimes you have to scrub them, I mean, and then I just let them dry. That's all. And let them dry. So you can also make your, this is the same exact way we made our buttons. For those of you that made buttons. Obviously they were smaller, but it was the same way we made our paper buttons. So if you wanted to do this with a napkin instead, I would, maybe we can, we can make one with a napkin. I just, let me just finish doing this one and then we'll make one with a napkin. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Are you feeling better? I saw your post where you said you were you were done and you were just gonna stay and watch movies. Did you what did you watch? Did you watch something good? I hope you watch something good. Recommend to us what you watched. If it was something you really enjoyed, tell us all about it. I'm always looking for something good.
Yeah, you have been busy. Yes, Michelle, this is a fiddly project that will get glue on your hands. <laughs> if you want, if you feel like doing it. If you feel like getting glue on your hands, it's definitely a fiddly, fiddly project. It is a fiddly project. Definitely. You guys, I haven't even been looking at the words on this. I'm going to definitely, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, um, <laughs> distress it or something so you can't read the words later. Anyway, what do you guys have planned for the weekend? Okay, wait, what are you writing? Let me see. You're going to change the tell so you can... Okay, Ash, we'll see you in a few minutes. We're making a, we're making my version of paper mache birds. We're making, actually, they're going to be Christmas ornaments, okay? If you, if you want to put birds on your tree, you don't have to. And I don't know, what do you guys usually put on your Christmas trees? I usually make something, a version of this. And I put it in the, and this is what I mail inside my holiday cards. You know, I make like, I write a little poem, or I find a cool poem about a bird, or whatever. I'm, whatever I'm making, right? And then I, I definitely have glue my fingers out. You're gonna have it. You're gonna make yourself a cup of something. Oh, good. I'm have. I have my tea. I have my English tea. Yes, it's hot in the tropics, and yes, I'm drinking hot tea. I don't. I, I was thinking about it. I don't know why, but I always want hot tea. Ma Carla, my mom used to make handmade ornaments with us too. She was. We always made something. One year I made pigs. Don't ask me why. I think one of my kids wanted to make pigs. I used to say, okay, guys, pick what you want to make. And one of them wanted to make pigs. So one year I made pigs. We made, uh, they were, we actually made them out of that salt dough. And then I painted them and decoupaged them. Okay, <laughs> what are we talking about? You're camping in Montana for the weekend? Oh, how fun! Oh, Kimber, that's awesome. Danita, what are we congratulating you for? I missed it. Music in the park. Oh, that sounds great, Anne. You're in North Carolina. I love a good cup of coffee, though, I have to say. <laughs> he is a fat bird. Um, what do you get? Awesome. Oh, Brenda, your birds are going to be great. Brenda's going to make her birds out of Fifty Shades of Grey. Good book. Good, good book. Ooh, yours going to be a racy bird. I love it. I love it. Don't worry about the face on the bird or anything. Just going to cover the whole thing with paper. Yours is going to be a racy bird, Brenda. Whoever you send those ornaments to, they're going to be like, woohoo! I got some racy bird ornaments. You have a new granddaughter? Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so awesome! I don't have any grandkids yet. I told you guys a story. My, my oldest daughter, who's 25, told me I had my own grandchild. My 10-year-old daughter. Congratulations, Danina! Congratulations. Congratulations! That is awesome! 
I'm just going to glue my hearts together because I want it to be a bigger heart than just a... You don't have to glue your hearts together, but that's what I'm doing. I'm gluing my heart. I'm gluing one, the smaller one, the slightly smaller one on top of the bigger one. And they don't have to be perfect because you, you want them to have a little bit of a dimension to them. I'm not going to paint my birds. You can paint your birds. I just made mine out of, I'm just making mine out of book pages. You can do whatever you want. If you want to paint them, have at it. I just made, I, I have so many book pages that I just, I just, I don't even, I'm not even thinking about it. I mean, you can paint them. You could put them, that's why I was saying you can napkin decoupage on top of them afterwards. You don't even have to do this fiddly thing if you don't want to. I mean, you could paint them. Go for it. You could do whatever you want. I just use, but I have a lot of cardboard and a lot of book blocks. And I don't think I'm alone in that. I think many of you may have cardboard and book blocks too. Am I right? Okay, I've glued my two hearts together. I'm just going to let them sit. I'm going to finish working on this and then... This was not a good brush. The tip of it I used to paint something and then it was still it still has dry paint on it. I need to trim it. Oh, and you're having a granddaughter too? Congratulations, Mildred. That's awesome. I that is fabulous. What great news. I love some good news. So who's been hitting the summer yard sales? Diana, I get pretty much, she sends me an update of the funnest things. She finds the best things at yard sales, Diana does. Oh, I have the same kind of thing, Kimberly. Mine are 25, soon to be 20, and 10. <laughs> So, I have the same thing. I have the same sort of surprise like you do. That's why my 25-year-old told me I had my own grandchild. She told me, she said, I don't think I need to have kids, Mom. You had your own grandchild. Talking about my 10-year-old. I was like, yikes. That is not nice. I love yard sales, but our yard sales are not as good as your yard sales, you guys. You guys have amazing yard sales compared to what we have. So, I, Diana, she's scored. She got some antique books. If Diana, if you're here, tell everybody. Dee, tell everybody what you got. She got, like, some cool stuff. I mean, serious score. Serious. Susan says she'd rather dumpster dive. Okay. I always dumpster dive at the place where they throw away all the books. Okay? I do. I don't really dumpster dive where I know that they've shit thrown food stuff, but... Where they've thrown... Where they throw, it, where they throw our books away. You know, where they... There's a place that sells used books, and they get all these books, and then, you know, they get so many of them. And so I dumpster dive there when they're throwing them out, because they throw out ones that are damaged and stuff, but I use them. I mean, I found some really cool books that they say they can't sell, but I certainly use them, so, you know. Okay, so I've got two, I've got three reindeer going on, and some birds, and I'll have a heart. So I might make more than one bird. I might make a few birds. Let's see, what are you guys writing? I'm missing. I need to clean up my desk. It's like a big mess. What are you saying, Anne? You make your husband dumpster dog? Good for you. <laughs> you know, there's so many things that end up in landfills. You'd be surprised. 
It's ridiculous. Kimberly says she lives grandbabies and yard sales. <laughs> I'm right there with you. Diana posted in our Facebook group about this yard sale. Diana, tell everybody about it. It's like this huge yard sale. How many states are involved in it? How many states are involved in it? I don't I don't know. It's a lot. A lot of states are involved in it. And she says if you go on the last day that they give away a lot of stuff. Is that what you're saying, Diana? If you go on the last day. That they give they have like a huge giveaway or what is the deal? Tell everybody. Michelle, you get you had a yard. You already had a yard sale. You know what? I think yard sales are awesome. I think yard sales are amazing, and I love going. I love going to yard sale. All right, tell me when you guys are ready for your the bird tail, because that's the that's the only tricky part of this whole process is the bird tail. Is that's the that's the only tricky process. Oh no, you're gonna go to the Lincoln Highway sale. Oh, I bet it'll be great. I watched your birthday video too, Michelle, and I cried. I swear, when Jaden opened his, um, what did you get him, an Xbox or whatever? I, I'm not up on all the gaming things. All our kids are pretty much grown and the littlest one doesn't really do any of it. But whatever, whatever you gave him and he cried, I cried. And you were crying. It was ridiculous. I was crying watching your video. He was, he's such a sweet boy. And he, you can tell he appreciated it so much. I totally cried. So this big, huge yard sale is like, if you go on our Facebook group and look, Diana posted all about it. It's called the, what, the 127, what is it called, Diana, again? Can you post it? The hundred and... Anyway, it's all these, it goes, it's like state, it goes across state lines, like multiple states do it. And Diana says it's in it. You did not ugly cry. You were like perfect, Michelle. I was crying, okay? I wasn't even there and I was crying. You do not. Oh, I cry. I cried. I really cried. It was like, oh, you, you cried too, Bet? Oh, no. Can you imagine if we were all there with you, Michelle? We would all be like, it would have been like one big crying mess. It would have been like, oh yeah, all of your crafty peeps are here crying over an Xbox or whatever it was, game station or whatever. And it was like, I was, in, I was in tears. You guys, I think I am going to napkin decoupage my heart. I think I'm going to paint it white. I'm going to do my bird. I think I'm going to paint my... I'm going to paint... I'm going to paint it first, put a coat of the cheap, the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest acrylic craft paint on it, and then I'm going to, I'm going to napkin decoupage it. So if you guys want to do that along with me, get out your napkins too, if you feel like it. And if you don't want to do it that way, you, this is a free-for-all, girls. There's no rules. And if there's rules, you, you guys know I have to break them. I cannot do rules. I'm not a ruler. I cannot do rules.
It's called, Diane, this is, it's called, it's Route 30 east to west, and it's intersected at Route 127 Van Wert, Ohio. That's what she says. And she is, like, saying that, how many, how many people go? How many people go to your, go to this yard sale, Diana? It's like huge, right? It's huge. I bet you some people plan their whole summers around it. What do you guys think? Because I followed rules in school, of course I did. Because you know what, primarily, because I don't want to be in trouble all the time. But I did get in trouble, I will say, because I was always speaking up. I was always like saying, I don't think that's true, or whatever. You know, I, I wasn't, trust me, my mother used to say, can't you just be quiet? No, but I, the one thing I don't like about rules and art is that you know, everybody gets to their own artistic self in their own way, right? So sometimes, or I meet a lot of people, especially now that I do YouTube more often than ever, that were told, like, they were either didn't have any artistic ability or were told that their art needed to look a certain way. And I have to tell you, it makes me so ridiculous. It makes me ridiculous. Like, I get so not happy because you know the one thing about art is that it's personal and no one can tell you yes you can go and learn a bunch of techniques so that you can then take it back and do it your way okay so and make it work for you and enjoy it for you like it has nothing to do with anyone else so you know, I belong to a couple of groups on Facebook and their journaling style groups. Junk journals, bullet journals, you know, any kind of stuff like that. I like that. I, I mean, it's sort of my, that's where, what holds my attention at the moment, right? And I see so many people get so intimidated because they see somebody else. And then I start seeing everybody else's journals and they start looking exactly alike. And I'm sorry. I hate that. Because you know, like, okay, so you learn a technique, make it your own. Like, if you want to make all your, if you want to make your birds naked, make your birds naked. Like, if you don't want to even make birds, don't do it. It's just like, I just find that if you can just abandon any, if you can learn a technique, whatever that is, right? Like even this, like making silly birds. If you go, oh, that's kind of fun. And then you really make it your own. You make it like loud and proud and whatever. Or or shabby chic or trashy or whatever works for you, right? You're going to love it a whole lot more if it's come from your inner voice. More than if it was like... And, and you're not going to compare it to anybody else's. You're going to be like, okay, my bird's great. Or what... I, I don't know. I just... I think there's so many, so many people out there that feel so afraid to just even experience or try to fail or, you know, to experience their own inner voice in an artistic way that I, I can't do rules. I just can't. So I'm all for, and that's why, you know, I think it's great when you guys all share what you do, no matter what it is. Like it. So you know, so maybe you don't paper craft. Maybe you just like the camaraderie of hanging out and chatting on a Friday night while you're doing your work or whatever you're doing, right? And but maybe you're an amazing knitter or you're an amazing you do great watercolors or you do whatever it is. Or maybe you're an amazing fabulous cook. You know, you have to find your art where it suits you. No, so I definitely don't like any sort of rules when it comes to art. You guys, I've been a jeweler for a long time, okay? And I make kind of out there stuff. I mean, 
this is sort of tame compared to like what I really enjoy making as far as like where my creativity or my, where my mind takes me. And for a long time, because whatever, the type of jewelry that I made, which was out of a lot of found objects and really cool stuff, and I loved it. I would have had people tell me that that's not art. I was just like, who are, first of all, who died and made you art police? Okay? And second of all, like, why do you care what I make? Why, why aren't you making your own thing? So, I'm all about, like, you find in your own voice whatever that is and going for it. Yes, Fiona. Fiona says she's an amazing communicator and talker and that's art. Yes, it is art. There's, if you can really start looking at yourself as like an artist in every way, right? And a, a cook is an art. An accountant. Being able to like, that's art. You know, there's t if you view almost every job, I mean, think about it. C good customer service is an art. <laughs> Susan, you're so funny. It's like you have to find your own voice. And you have to... And you know what I love about, like, something as silly as these birds? Is that one of you is going to go on a bird tangent, and you're going to, like, post in a month or whenever, like, oh, I was just making birds, and I've been making birds and birds and birds and birds, and you're going to be like, it was so fun, and then I, and then I showed somebody else, and then they were making birds, and you're going to meet somebody and have an amazing experience, for yourself and your own creativity over making something as simple as paper birds. Okay? Or puzzle piece reindeers. I have to tell you, I, I, I'm going to find them. I will find them because I have a bunch. I made them with my daughter. She must have been about seven, so she's ten now. She'll be eleven at the end of August. So she must have been about six or seven, and I made them with her class. So can you imagine when you make a puzzle, first of all, the fast the fact that you're using like a puzzle piece and you're not putting it together as a puzzle, the kids are like, oh. And then the second thing is they came out so they each one of them had an amazing personality. I wish you could. I know I have a few of them, and some of them are hilarious looking, and I love that. Fiona says, her dad used to say that she had a gift of the gab. That's awesome. So you became a community worker? That's awesome. And counselor? I think that's great. Danina, you'll be the bird maker? <laughs> awesome. I don't know. One year I made, I can't even tell you. I probably made 40 of these birds. And there were not any of them the same size. Some of them are made really tiny. Some of them are made really big. I was into it. I was into it. And I like the fact that there were words. And you know what? I didn't even read any of them. So hopefully none of them were racy. But if they were, oh well. If they were racy, then my niece must have... I sent some to my niece. I sent them to... Whoever, I told you I've grown nieces and nephews, and instead of buying them things that they can afford to buy themselves, you know, now I, in fact, I got a note from one of them the other day, because it was his birthday, and I said, I didn't, what would you like for your birthday, because, you know, I haven't forgotten, but I don't want to send you, I'm just tired of sending stuff for the sake of it, if it's, you know, I said, otherwise, nobody said, he said he wanted something, he wanted me to make him a, let me a crochet him a blanket for his couch. And I said, why that? And then he went on to this whole story about, you know, when my, my mother was an amazing she could crochet. She could do anything. Crochet, knit. She was a really good painter. She, she was really good at just about everything. Anything she tried, she became really good at. And uh, he was just 
reminding me about how much that she'd made of this blanket that I really loved it and he had had it for a really long time and I think he took it off the school with him or something and he said it fell apart and uh, or something happened to it so he said you know he's been really thinking about her and missing her and he would love that blanket again so I said okay and I don't remember what kind of blanket because she was always making something for someone Okay, let me see. I'm, I'm sorry I'm missing your chat. I've got glue on my hands, so I'm fiddling with everything. What a boring place the world would be, Susan says, if everyone was the same. I agree. Fiona, I think this is an ama amazing accomplishment, 25 years in the, in the mental health field. That's amazing. Kimberly, he's an old bird. He, my bird, he probably is an old bird. He could be hottie bird. Okay, um... Susan's asking me if I could have something that I can't get in Hawaii, what would it be? Um, what would it be? I don't know, you guys. You know what I love most of all? I, I want to show you, I got the most amazing, If at the end, end of our stream when I clean off my desk, I'll show it to you. I got the most amazing surprise box from Phaedra yesterday. I cried. I was like a big old baby. And, um... She sent me bits and pieces of stuff that was hers, and I loved it. So, trust me, I use anything you girls send me, so I don't know. I can't really get anything here. So, what I, I order most everything I get, or as you can see, I recycle, right? Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I have to think about it. But, you know, the problem is I probably don't even know about it. Because if you don't have it, you don't know about it. Like... And if you're not, you know, the only way I found out about Magicals or whatever was because I was stalking Dee Dee Willingham, right? And she loves Magicals, and I, and I really love her work. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh, no, we're talking about cookies already? I want cookies. Oh, my God, whatever. Whoever made those brownie cookies the other day, those looked amazing. Oh, you're so sweet, Diane. That's so sweet. I cried. You guys, I don't... Please, you don't don't feel like you ever have to send me anything. I'm happy to be here with you. I, I feel like that's enough for me. I don't want you to ever feel like... You know, that's just not who I'm about and what I'm about at all. I enjoy you guys so much. Um, Phaedra and I were talking about something. I don't remember what we were talking about. Anyway, she she just sent me this box of stuff and when you see it, I cried. She made me these envelopes, these, she sewed me these, you'll see them, they're like out of paper with little bits of fabric. It was just perfect. Oh, I guess it's because I've been making this, try, attempting to make this shabby chic journal with nothing shabby chic. So, but I'm, but I'm getting on the groove with it, you guys. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, we were talking about slutty brownies, okay? Phaedra is is a girl that she may be on later on. She usually comes here. She's a um, she's a YouTube artist. She's an amazing doll maker. If you guys go over to her channel, and I think it's just under her name, or if you join our you if you join our Facebook group, and if you guys have a YouTube channel, post it on there. You know, post your Instagram, your YouTube. They used to let you put links when you were doing um, YouTube videos. They would let you. Um, link to other people's videos or do a video response and stuff like that um, in like the commenting but they don't let you do that anymore so I don't know how you anyway all I'm saying to you is that if you want guys you should see her she makes some amazingly beautiful dolls so how I met Phaedra was on YouTube Phaedra and I became YouTube friends she made herself her own Mother's Day journal and it was beautiful if you guys go on her channel, you can see it. She hand paints. She's She is a really stunning artist. She makes beautiful artwork. She's usually chatting with us now, but I, I don't know. Maybe, you know, she's got a family too, so. And I don't, she lives in Texas, so I don't exactly know what time it is where she lives. Anyway, she does some really beautiful stuff. And so she and I became friends. That way I commented on her video, and then she and I... I don't know if she was watching my videos before I watched her videos. I don't know. Um, I don't remember. 
but she's an amazing artist herself. She does really beautiful textile art. She makes dolls. She does, she makes beautiful journals, and she's a really good painter. She's a sweet, sweet, sweet lady. Um, it is four o'clock in the afternoon for me at the moment. And because we don't have daylight savings time, no, because the sun rises and sun sets pretty much close to the same time because we're so close to the equator. So, all right, I'm almost done fiddling with my birds and then I'm gonna start the tails. So you guys let me know when you're ready to just start your tails. But let me know when you're ready to put your tail feathers on. Yes, Valerie lives, Valerie lives on Oahu, and we don't have anything. <laughs> we were talking about it. Okay, we have one craft store. We have a Ben Franklin. But can I tell you, it's not just a craft store. It's really a framing store. And then everything in there is ridiculously... First of all, they don't have everything. And second of all, I only go there if I absolutely have to have something and then and that I can't get on Amazon Prime. Because even with me ordering it, It's cheaper, even if I had to pay shipping, if I ordered it, than it is for me to shop there. I don't know. Is it the same for you, Valerie? We were talking about, you know, you don't think about it, but it is. So, like, like for instance, if you guys buy a tiny jelly plate, in one of your craft stores and you have a coupon, you can probably get your jelly plate for under $20. You can get probably a nice size one for under $20. There, you buy the smallest one and it's like 35. And so it's not worth it, so you can order one online cheaper. It's 10, it's 10 in Ohio, 10 at night right now, so you guys are it's, so you guys are six hours. It's true where you are too, Ash. But can you drive outside of your area and go... I know, I'm obsessed. I love my jelly plate, you guys. I do. I can't help it. If you have never tried one, who else on this... Who else enjoys their jelly plate? You know why? Because I was going to go buy myself a really big jelly plate. Remember I told you guys I make painting those huge backgrounds? So they make enormous jelly plates. Like, I don't know. They're big. 16 by 20 or something? I don't remember. But they make big ones. And so I was happened to be in our shopping mall, which houses our little Ben Franklin. And I said, oh, let me go see. So I thought, let me see how much a big jelly plate is here. Okay, you guys are really, I think you can buy a 16 by 20 jelly plate for what, like $35 online? It was like $70 at our craft store. So I was like, mm, I don't think so. $70, like, I, I, you know, it's okay. It's island life. You just got to let it go. You got to let it go. All right, I just have one little place on the tail left. And then I'm going to start, oh, I have the beak. Now, I'm going to take a piece of thinner cardboard, like a spaghetti box or Pop-Tart box or, or a, a um, oh my gosh, cereal box. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to uh, put it on the tip of the bird's face so that it, I know, Susan. You guys are going to make fun of me and my jelly plate. I know. I know. But you wait. When you finally get yourself one, you're going to be like, why didn't I do it sooner? And then you're going to be as obsessed as I am. And then I'm just going to be, I'll call you Shelly Jelly too. <laughs> you guys are so funny. All right. 
I'm almost done. I just got a couple more fiddly bits to do. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to finish painting my reindeer. Who else is going to make reindeer? And I'll show you, if I don't show you how to make snowflakes this week, I'll show you how to make snowflakes the next time we do it. Because I, I have, I definitely have out of the puzzle pieces. We are going to make beaded snowflakes. Those come out really beautiful. And those, you can, those you can make really nice journaling charms with too. Um, but you can also make them into like, um, you know, like hanging things. Like, I don't want to say a chime because it doesn't make a noise. I guess it would if you put other things with it, but like a mobile. What is five dollars? What are you guys talking about? Pity Pat Pat would be in heaven with a larger jelly plate. Yes, you're right. Pity Pat Pat would talk. You know what? I probably would never leave my house. I would be like in jelly printing heaven. I'd be, you guys, somebody would have to look in on me and I would still be pity patty. I would be making jelly prints on everything. Oh my god, you guys. So ridiculous. Pity Pat Pat would be... I am Pity Pat Pat. That is what my partner calls me. He calls me Pity Pat Pat. He says that's how I make art. <laughs> Oh my god. And you know what, you guys? He can't stand to get his fingers dirty. So this would not be his. I should actually make him make these with me once. He would not. He does not like to get his fingers dirty. He is the funniest. He makes the most amazing paint, paintings and his hands are always clean. Oh my god. Seriously. Seriously, seriously. Hi, Mary. You know, it's not so hard to make one. It's really not so hard to make, um... Okay, who's mooing? I'm, miss I'm missing the chat, you guys. This is so fiddly. I can't even, like... It's a fiddly thing. So when you're fiddling, you can't even... Okay, let's start the tail. Because the tail is the, the most fun part. And then you guys can continue to fiddle. You can continue. I might want to dry this for a minute. I might get my heat gun out and dry the glue because it is wet. It is gluey. I think the last time I made these, I made them in stages. Like I, I made them and then I let it dry and then... You guys are so funny. Is Noni here? Noni, are you here this week? Are you here today? I wanted to tell Noni that a lot of people are going to send her grandmother. If you guys were part of our Facebook group, go over. I love Scrap and Lizzie. Oh my god, I love her. I love her. She's so precious. Can you imagine being related to her? Um, milk on my island is $8 a gallon. Is it only $5 a gallon on your island? That's awesome. Looks about eight dollars a gallon here. I guess it depends upon where you shop. I, you probably could find it less if you shop around, but if you just go like the Safeway or whatever, it's eight dollars a gallon. Ridiculous as it is, I'm gonna dry my bird for a second. Heat gun alert. Yeah, it's expensive. Breads just as expensive. Bread's like six dollars a loaf. It is cheaper to buy a goat. You could totally I don't know how much how many gallon how many liters are in a gallon? I don't know. You don't have to dry yours, but mine is like... What are you going to send? A wet? <laughs> you know what? I don't drink milk, okay?
Yeah, it is eight dollars. It's ridiculous. Okay, this is not totally perfect or totally done, but I'm gonna start start on the tail, and I'm gonna show you because the tail part's fun. Okay, it's expensive to live for you guys. I'm gonna tell you, I gave up. I'm back to drinking half and half of my coffee because Target moved here and Target is making prices go down. They're not. But it's a whole racket here, you guys. So when you come on vacation, it's ridiculously expensive. Okay. But realize it's expensive and we live here. Okay, so what you want to do for the tail is you want to tear long strips. Okay, so you want to tear your pages in long strips like this. Okay, so you want to just tear them long ways and thin and you you know you want to tear them thinner and you just keep going and you may have it may take a while to till you get some pages that you like like till you get some strips you like all right now don't fret i know this one doesn't look very curly but it will be and this is the whole thing okay and then you're going to go down to your to your i don't know what these are called these tails the down to the tails and you're gonna glue them off you're gonna glue them on and that and then you can you can recurl your strength you can recurl your your things after they dry just the way you do curling ribbon It is fiddly, but I'm going to tell you once you get it done, it's done. You don't have to do it again and again, right? So that's all you do. That's, 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 a, that's my exciting birds, okay? And you layer the you layer the little strips of stuff that you've torn. You layer them. That is that is it, you guys. That is my. That's how you do these. These, some of mine. When I take the ones out of my window, so like, look, I'll show them to you. I can't do it today because I have to climb up there to get them. So you could take your scissors. See how the bottoms? Because these have been in a box, so they've been sort of smashed. So all you need to do is just go back the same way we do curling ribbon, but, but do it gentle because it's just book pages. Okay. And they're just book pages glued on. So wherever, if you want it curlier, you just do them more curly. That is how, that's how it goes. So that's all it is. What did I miss? Bye, Mary. You guys are so funny. The bird has curly curls. You guys are so ridiculous. Making, well, you guys making fun of Pity Pat Pat. It's okay, you can. So that's it. And you do them both directions. You do them on the top of the bird, on the top of the tail, and on the bottom of the tail. And you just glue them on. That is it. That is it. You do have to let them dry. I mean, as you guys can see, my hands are so gluey. I'm getting glue on everything. You guys can make fun of me. It does not hurt my feelings at all. Are you kidding? I love somebody that makes fun of me. Thanks, Bet. I make fun of myself, okay? I totally make fun of myself. If you can't laugh at yourself, who, you know what I mean? Like, seriously. I'm only cutting it because the bottom part that I'm going to glue on is just too wide. The strip is just too wide. And you do have to futz with it, okay? You can't, you may have to futz with them. You know, it may not do it the very first, you may not like, 
like the very first lay down, you may have to go, oh, that one would look better on this side or whatever. Just gotta futz with them until you get it the way you like it. You gotta futz with it until you get it the way you like it. And just remember, it's just paper, so it is gonna, if you get too much glue on it, you can rip it. Okay. Night, Anne. Maybe I'll see you on Tuesday. On Tuesday, I think we're going to work on our shabby chic journal. And I don't know. Or we may do a Christmas in July. I don't know. It just depends upon how my week goes. I had that big project. I haven't. Guys, I should have worked on it today, but I didn't. I just didn't. I was not good. I did not work on the project today. And I should have, and I didn't. Did not work on the project. You know, you curl it the same way you do, like, curling ribbon. You know what I mean by curling ribbon. You know, the, the stuff that you, um, it's on the bottom of balloons, or I don't know. You need to put another one in between there. Anyway, that's what you do. You just keep going until you get enough curls on your bird that you like it. And I do need to go back and fix his... He's definitely got some spots or whatever. That's okay. I haven't tried wire on the tails. Try it, Carla. I've only... I only made them with paper. I did not try them with card. I did not try them with... I've, I've only done them with paper. I have not done them with wire. I'm sure. And I'm sure if you had wire ribbon, it would work too. It works. I mean, it it totally does. It helps if your fingers aren't so gluey that they're sticking to everything. But, yep, yeah, it works. I mean, you just got to keep going until you get the desired tail effect that you want. Oh, thanks, Fiona. Mildred, are you still here? Are you hanging? Are you making? Are you making birds, too? What are you making? You guys, make sure you post whatever you've made, even if it's something that we're not making. I would love to see what you guys are making. You definitely need to let them dry. Mine are, um, my hands are gluey. You could put feathers in the tail. You can do whatever you want. I told you guys, it's your bird, your artistic endeavor. You do it any way you want. There's no right or wrong. It is your bird. It's your bird. You can do whatever. Maybe I'll put this one on top. Did everybody have a good 4th of July? Did you guys all hang out? What did you do? Some of you guys hung out with me, but did you guys, any of you guys go and did any of you have barbecues and make your own? I, I was just thinking about it today. I was thinking like what I love about 4th of July barbecues are the leftovers. Am I the only one that likes the 4th of July barbecue leftovers? I like the leftovers. Oh, you're so funny, Brenda. Who's eating cookies? I want cookies. You guys are terrible. I want cookies. Now remember you gotta have feathers on the top and on the bottom. On both areas. My hands are so gluey that everything's sticking to them.
just got to keep putting it on. They just came out of the oven. Oh my God, you guys are so enabling. You are totally enabling. You guys are making me want cookies. That's crazy. How many of you guys did the, the ICAD, the index card a day or the, the because it was it's for the month of June and July. I mean, you can do it any time, but they try to do like 61 of them. Has anybody else done I've done a few. Last year I did a lot of them. This year, guys, you guys know, I'm in my own zen right now. So which one of you are laughing at because I said that? <laughs> I'm in my own thing. Okay, the bottom the bottom part's good. Now I gotta do the tops the tops of all of them. What are you guys writing? I'm missing. What do you guys what kind what did you make? Oh my god, you're so you guys are terrible. You can fun of me. Okay, a couple more pieces for my, my bird tail and then I'm gonna decoupage my my heart. I got my I got I got glue all over myself, you guys. This is ridiculous. So do any of you guys have any really big vacation plans coming up? Any of you guys going on a trip anywhere that you're besides yard sailing and besides to Hobby Lobby, I know that we would all consider that a vacation. A trip to Hobby Lobby. I'm sorry, Susan. I totally understand. I'm right there with you. Hi, Larell. Am I making your birds? Are you guys asking me to make you birds? You guys, you're, it's not bad enough that I show you all my, my bird making that you guys are wanting me to make your birds too. You guys are terrible. Let me see. I need some, I need some top some top ones. I need some top ones. You guys are so funny. I swear. <laughs> what are you thanking me for, Lynn? That I'm ridiculous? Oh my gosh, Susan. You're, the birds are... My bird, the birds here are squawking loud? You guys always hear them. I live with them, so I don't hear. I mean, they're not in my house. They're outdoor birds. I don't hear them. I mean, I hear them, but I'm not focused on it because it's something here I hear all the time. Definitely need to let it dry though. The tail parts, the more you touch them, the more they come up. What do you guys? You have eight birds? Oh my god, I had no idea. You have eight birds? Susan, what kind of birds? Ash is making birds. Awesome. You've done 37 iCads, Elaine? Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, post some of them in our group, please. You have nine birds, Susan? That's amazing. What kind of birds do you guys have? I think that's awesome. 
My sister used to have birds that unfortunately all passed away. She had a African gray and a macaw. And they had them for a long time, like a really long time. Like her husband had them since he was a kid and I think they've had them, they passed away. One of them got like a very rare, some sort of illness. I'm not up on bird things, but anyway. They were very sad. Can I tell you, they were so loud, the her birds. But it didn't seem to bother them. I guess because they were sort of immune to it. immune to how loud their birds were. So can you see how my tail's coming out? Like, that's, I mean, you got to keep going until you get a, 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 as many curls as you like on yours. And that's why I think thinner, you, you'll have to test your book pages when you rip them to see which ones work better. Now, the thing is, if you were going to paint your bird, I would have painted it before I put the tail on. I didn't think about that because I've never painted it. But one of you guys was telling me you were going to paint your bird. I would paint it before you put the tail on it. And then you might want to paint your paper and then strip it so that it's the same color as your bird if you're going to paint your bird. Now I just have to do the big one on top. What are you guys writing? I'm missing it. Question. Okay. Mildred says she had a cocktail and all I did was bite her. That's not good. And then they're talking about iCADs and iCADs. You, you can put anything on your iCAD. I, mine are kind of mixed. Mine are all mixed media. Um, Laurel has a question. She has a Xyron machine and it makes labels and stickers. And something else. It is it something I should keep? I don't know how much much about them. I've always wanted a Zyron Laurel. I've never had one. But I like making stickers and stuff and putting them in my journals or like little drawings, you know, and things like that or ephemera that you find or like cold pieces and from magazines that you would want to, I would say keep it. But if you're not going to use it, then, you know, I don't know, try it. I mean, you don't use it a lot now or you do. So do you use a die cut, Elaine? I think that's great. I don't have anything like that, so. A Xyron machine, I don't think they're that expensive. Are they that expensive, Laurel? Oh my god, are we back to talking about thickers? You guys, um, Susan, you're bad. It is a brand. They are alphabet stickers, but it is a brand of if you're a scrapbooker, trust me, and they're expensive. I'm not a scrapbooker, but they're expensive. And so that's why I was telling you guys if you scrapbooked that you would want to, if you were if you were a scrapbooker, that being joining Peachy Cheap, you can they often have like multiple packs of those thickers <laughs> for really cheap. Since I don't scrapbook or project life, it's not that big of a deal for me, but, and they are, see so you guys thought I was just had a speech problem, but they are actually called that. You guys are so funny. So funny. Ridiculous. I'm going to move my chair up now that the dogs decided to get off my chair. I missed your earlier post. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't. I've, I've been trying to keep up with you guys and what you're saying, but I can't. It, my hands are so gluey, and I haven't been able to wa read while I've been doing this. So what did you say? What did you say? What did you say, Laurel, in your earlier post? If you don't mind repeating it for my benefit. Oh, you bet you could get me to say it. Susie. <laughs> Oh my God, you are so, you were an instigator. You were so bad. 
Okay, lurkers, say hi. Now that I've said the word thickers, you've got to say hi. Come on, lurkers. Come on, all you ladies out there that are lurking. Say hello. Or gentlemen. We have gentlemen lurkers. Say hello. You guys are so funny. Okay, Laurel said she got some cool stuff to make her journal. And, and was the Xyron part of it? Is that what you're saying? Is that the part that I missed? I've always wanted one. I mean, I have to say that's probably on my crafty wish list. Now, I have never tried one, so maybe I should try one before I say I want one. Okay, I think I want a bigger one on top. Oh, post pictures. I would love it. Did you get it at a yard sale, or did you, or was this a present, Laurel? That I missed all of it because I was busy doing this fiddling with this bird. I was busy bird fiddling. Ash, how are you feeling? another page. I don't even know what I... You guys, I'm driving my own self crazy. I have a book blocked. Oh, here it is. I was like, where did it go? It fell on the floor. What did you say, Alta? You're turning in. Oh, I'm happy you joined us, though. You shipped your sister's garage sale stuff and your sister had a Xyron? Did she use it? Oh, the very large ones, sister? Keep it. Those The, the, the large ones are expensive. I The large ones are expensive. I would definitely keep it. Until, look at it this way. Try it, and if you do decide that you're never going to, you know, make a few things with it, and then you know, if you decide, okay, I would definitely try it though first before I ruled out, before I ruled on letting it go. That's just me though. You guys, I forget how fiddly it is to make these birds until I make them again. And then I'm fiddling with it and I get glue all over me. And then I forget about it and I do it again. I just keep doing it because I don't know any better. Because that's the way I roll. And they are fiddly. If you don't like glue on your fingers, don't do this one. It is a glue on your fingers kind of craft. It is totally a glue on your fingers kind of craft. They come out cool though in the end when they're totally done. And when they're dry and when you've hung them on your tree they look really nice. And when you send them in the mail to people, they like them. I don't think they realize how fiddly they are. And if you do them in, um, like if you did them in rounds, like cut them all out one day and then, you know, did part of it. Or maybe paint them, as somebody said. I've never painted them. Maybe you should paint them. Maybe that's the next ones I do. I'll paint them and then just do the tails like this and see how it comes out. See if I, see if it's less fiddly. I don't think so because of the glue part. Okay, I'm missing. The downside of your Xyron is sometimes sticky stuff gets around the edges. So she puts talcum powder to fix that problem. Oh, Elaine, you're like the queen of Xyron. Oh, okay. She says the Xyron is quick and best for people who are doing a lot of adhesive application at one time. If you do one or two, it's a waste. Oh, okay.
Okay, yes, and we, you want to place, and Susan's saying you want to place the items across it, not in line, or you waste part of the roll of your Xyron. Okay. You got, These are all tips. See, I don't even have one, so I don't know. Susan, I don't paint them at all. I mean, I might put some sort of a sealer on it, because I, I just use tacky glue on them, so I don't know. So most of the time I'll Mod Podge over them or something like that. But I don't usually do the tails. I usually just leave the tails. I mean, these birds are like a year old. And they don't have anything on them. I don't think I Mod Podged on them. They were just stuck in a box, and that's why they're kind of not as good as... If, if I show you the ones that I have hanging in my window, they're much fancier. Like, look at the tail on this one. This one's like... I kind of went to town on that one. This is probably two or three years old. This little tiny bird. And it doesn't have anything on it either, so. No, I haven't put anything on it, but you could paint them. You could do whatever you want. They're your birds. You decide and do go for it. Do your birds however you want. I just have, like, a little bit more of the tail to do, and then. I got a little more of the tail to go, and then. I need a big piece. And my tearing is not going, I have glue on my hands everywhere, and so my my tearing is not doing great. <laughs> Fiona, we're going to do, you keep it. You keep your, keep your, keep everything that you got on the list, because we're going to do it. We're going to do all of it, okay? So we're going to do, I'm going to finish doing my puzzle pieces. I'm going to, I mean, we may not do all of it today, but we're all, we're going to do all of it. Um... You need the, the smaller cardboard or the thinner cardboard for the beak and the wings if you want. But also, too, I didn't know if some people wanted to make theirs out of that. I use every kind of cardboard. I'm not a... I need a, I need one good piece. Come on. Good piece. One good curl. Okay, this is a good one. Ash is saying she's being quiet because she can't craft and chat. You know what? Whenever I'm watching one of these, I can't type in, especially if I'm gluing, I can't. I, I mean, I've, tr I've tried. Like, I love to chat when I can, but it's... Diana says she's got a... Diana, do you, are you still here? She has, like, a voice-activated thing, but I don't know. You know what? My luck, guys, it would be, like, hilarious. I would say something, and it would... It's like, uh autocorrect or whatever it would change it to something really terrible you know because that's just how stuff happens sometimes you know I mail the birds with the tail feathers and they don't get smashed I mail them in a card. Uh, when we make our Christmas cards, I'll show you. Because I, I, I make a lip inside my Christmas cards. You guys, I haven't bought Christmas cards in years. I usually make them all, and I make them out of junk mail. Isn't that, is that bad that I make them all out of junk mail? But I do. Make them out of junk mail. Make my cards out of, I make my Christmas cards out of junk mail. I don't know if anybody actually knows they're made out of junk mail because they're painted. I mean, I paint on top of them. We're, I'm going to make some cards with you guys. I'll, I'll make my version of junk mail. You need those postcards. You know, the postcards that come in the mail that... Remember when everybody was... When we had the election, all the election postcards? That kind of thickness. You know, I've mailed a bunch of them. I haven't... And they've received them. I don't know whether when they receive them, they fluff them back up. I don't know. I guess if you were worried about it, you could glue them more. You could put glue on the... The curl bit. Okay, I'm getting closer to being done with this one. I probably need a few more curls on it, but you guys get the idea, yeah? Right? I mean, I need to do the beak and the wing, and that I'm going to do out of thinner cardboard. 
and I can go back and and cover the pieces that I've missed because I did miss some spots. You know, and the has some holes on it in that way. What are you guys saying? I can't even. You think your tails are too short? So experiment with them. You know, it, it's not a science. It's like, it's creative, so. It's a creative thing. I bet your tails are awesome, Danina. So if you guys haven't joined our Facebook group, please join it. It's like a lot of fun. Everybody's been posting some really cool stuff, and I'm really loving that. Um, I love, love, love. Oh, bye, Laurel. Oh, great. We'll see you on Tuesday. Awesome. And post some of the stuff that you got from your yard sale. We'd love to see it. I would love to see it, at least. I'd love to see what you got. I'd love to see all the cool stuff you got. Somehow that satisfies my need to shop, I think, when I see whatever you, whatever else you guys get. And I don't have to do anything. I don't even have to shop. So I'm just cutting up a piece of a... And if I have a thinner one, I'll even use that, but maybe I don't. Um, you just need some sort of thinner thing for the wing and for the... Guys, my desk is a mess. Look at this mess. I mean, guys, I'm not a neat crafter. Like, I, I, my crafting is, like, messy. Okay? I mean, I don't need a wing on it right now. I guess I can let it dry. So after the whole thing is totally dry, let it dry this time. I'm going to show you what... I, see how I put, made this eye? And I made an eye out of a piece of... Can you see it? I mean, can you see it? I'm going to hold the bird up. Can you see the eye on it? Not the eyeball here, but the eye to hang it. So I made it out of wire. You could just put ribbon on it. But can you see it? I can't tell. So that is, I can show you guys how to do it. We don't have to do that today, but and I can, you can use a Christmas hook if you wanted. Or you can do like I did with this one, which was, see how I just poked a hole and I threaded some thread through it? And it has a Christmas hook on it. You could do it that way too. They actually hang really nice in your, on your tree. Danina, how many of these are you going to make? Are you leaving us, Fiona? Or are you? Oh, no, you're coming back. Okay, what are you guys laughing at me for? I missed it. I'm missing what you guys are laughing at me. I can't glue and, I can't glue and talk. It's, like, ridiculous today. Like I think this one needs probably one more tail piece. It needs, like, one more tail, tail bit. You guys, when the electric the electric went out over here, it was so quiet. Like the whole neighborhood, because there's a there's somebody doing some sort of uh, I don't know. I just hear like an air compressor all the time lately. So they're doing some sort of renovation or power washing, but it's been almost every day. So I have a feeling they're doing some sort of renovation. It was so incredibly quiet. It was amazing. I was like, oh wow, this is what it's like with no electric. Like not just in my house, but and. I live in a really quiet neighborhood, so it was it was quite it was quite surprising how quiet or how loud I guess everything really is all the time, and I'm just not aware of it because it's you know it's sort of like the noise that you're used to, the white noise you're used to. All right, I'm gonna let my bird dry for a minute or two. I'm gonna let my bird dry right here, and I'm going to finish one of my. I'm gonna let my bird dry. I'm gonna finish. I'm going to gesso or paint my my part so that I can decoupage it. So if you guys are gonna gesso it or and get your napkins if you're gonna napkin decoupage, I just have some leftover napkins from that shabby chic journal we're making, and I think it'll make a really nice um, a really nice color for this. 
I'm going to just paint that and then I'm going to work on my little, going to finish working on my reindeer. And the reindeer so far is just puzzle pieces. This is what it looks like so far. He's just puzzle pieces. He's like, there's one that's brown. Here's one I've got to paint brown, and here's one that's gessoed. Okay? So there'll be two eyes, and I'll paint a red nose, and then, I mean, I'm going to paint it brown. And it's a puzzle piece reindeer. It's not like a... It's not like an actual looking reindeer. I mean, you can make them with clothespins, too. I've done that. You guys make clothespin reindeer? I've made clothespin reindeer, I've made sticks, I've made popsicle stick reindeer, I've made, you guys figure, with all the kids I've had, we've made just about everything. Um, I figure maybe next time we'll do the really fancy one, and then maybe we'll make some angels. And then I also want to make some snowflakes. So I'm going to make the bead and wire snowflakes. Are you guys up for that? Bead and wire snowflakes. I want to make, um, I want to make, we can make angels. We can make seashell angels, which are super, super easy. Have you guys made seashell angels? You just need ribbon and a shell, like a, like a, I don't even know what kind of shell that is. Um, you just need ribbon and that one's super easy. I used to make those all the time. I used to go to the beach in the Hamptons in the winter time. You can go anytime, but I used to find the, the, these, I don't know what kind of shells they are, you guys. I'm not up on my shell, the names of them. Um, they're just a common seashell. Oh, I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, I used to make them, I used to st have a friend who had an amazing house out in the Hamptons, and she always would let us stay there. She wasn't hardly, she hardly used it. So we would go, and it was right on a bay beach, and so I used to collect seashells with my kids, and then, and, and we went all the time, and then we would make ornaments, and I made her, I used to make her ornaments, all kinds of seashell ornaments from that beach, because, you know, she would always let us stay. And so, and she had multiple Christmas trees, like she had a house, uh, an apartment in New York City and her house in the Hamptons and she would make, buy multiple things. So anyway, that's what, what it, that's what we did. So we've made seashell angels, I made those with that and with ribbon and, or you could use tool. I've also made, um, raffia angels, have you guys ever made those? Angels out of raffia. Raffia and ribbon. And I'm just trying to think of what else. I've made all kinds of stuff, you guys. I'm probably a little ridiculous when it comes to that. I've made every kind of possible. What's cool about this is whatever you're doing here, if you did it just a little bit smaller, you could put them in your journals. You could use them as journaling charms. Yes to angels and snowflakes. Okay, cool. We'll make them. You never made angels from Raffia? Oh my god, it's so easy. We'll definitely do that. I'll put it on my list. I haven't made peppermint stick reindeer. I mean, I've seen them, but I haven't made them. I bet they're cute. I have never made them. I bet they're really cute. So, I have this friend. If you get my kids talking about Raffia Angels, you guys, they would... Anyway, it's a whole ridiculousness. It's just yet another one of my ridiculousnesses. So, I had a friend whose son was in... In, um... In Iraq. And... This is my story of Raffia Angels. And somehow or other, she decided that it would be really cool to make Christmas ornaments and send them 
over to her son, and he was in a big, huge platoon. So she calls me up one day, and she says, you know, she asked me, she said, would you, I'm, just before I start doing this, covering it, I am going to cover the sides of it with either, I don't have any masking tape, so I'm just going to go ahead and cover the sides of it with book pages, just because if you cover it or decoupage the corrugated part with napkins, it's going to get stuck. Oh, Fiona, I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better. Maybe we'll see you on Tuesday, okay? And I'll try to send out a list, really. I'll try to send out a list on Sunday of what we're going to make. We may continue making ornaments, or we may make something else. I don't know. I know we still have our, our shabby chic journal to work on, and we're just talking about some other things we could finish working on all of our Christmas ornaments. Anyway, back to my angel story, my ridiculous angel story. So, she calls me up and she says, would you make a few ornaments? Now, when somebody asks you to make a few ornaments, can you just put a guess of how many a few ornaments would be? If somebody called you and said, hey, I'm going to do this ornament project, I would like, you know, would you be in on it? Would you do it too? Um, would you, would you, how many ornaments would you think that would be? So, of course, you know me. I said yes. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking like 10 ornaments, maybe max, right? 10? Okay, you guys ready? So she sends me a note and she says, Great, your 300 ornaments need to be shipped to <laughs> My 300 ornaments need to be shipped to. Okay? Okay, sisters, 300 ornaments. First of all, you see how long it takes me to do anything? I'm not a fast crafter. Second of all, never in my wildest dreams would I have ever committed to making 300 of anything. Ever. Anyway, it became this whole ordeal. So I had to look around. First of all, let's, let's face it. You figure anything, most everything you're going to send over there, are they even going to let it in? Yes, 300. Yes, okay. Are they even going to let it in? And the second of all, it was like some ridiculous guideline. Like it was some ridiculous um, time frame. It was like, it was like soon. It wasn't like you had like months or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So, I had done, the year before I had done some sort of event where we'd used raffia and I had, so in my head I'm thinking a couple things. I'm thinking cost effectiveness and I'm also thinking like, it's just a sentiment, it's a thought, right? It's not supposed to be like some amazingly, amazingly crafted ornament. These are for men. Okay, men. I'm not. No, I know there's some women in the in the armed forces too, but you know. Anyway, so I made these raffia angels, and they actually came out really nice. But it was such a joke that my kids were like walking around speaking, and if you get them talking, they 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 make it like a German accent and go raffia angels, and they like make fun of me all the time. Over these 300 raffia angels. You guys, that's how I roll. You know me. That is my raffia. So, because I had raffia and it's not like I sat down and said, Oh, I, you know, I, I wake up and I, I want to create with raffia. It was, it was like the shipping thing too. Because then you had to ship all this stuff. Are you guys laughing at me? Anyway. Yes, 300 raffia angels. 
So my kids, to this day, still make fun of me over it, okay? If you get my kids talking about the angels, you guys would be rolling. It's so ridiculous. Rolling. I know, you guys. See? Anyway, I made 300 Raffia Angels and my, made my kids help me. And they were like, anyway, it was the brunt of all the jokes of ever. So then, for Christmas for them, and of course it's like, I don't know when we're making them. We're making them like in September or something because they have to be shipped. And I don't know, it was some ridiculous time. So for Christmas, I made them some. And they thought it was hilarious. Like I made some that I wrapped... I made them each one and I wrapped it in a huge box so it looked like some amazing present and it was a raffia angel. Are you guys laughing at me? <laughs> Mildred's incensed. You guys, if I make a commitment, I'm going to do it. Okay, but, you know, I guess I missed that part of the conversation. Like, I don't, she wasn't the kind of person that would just spring it on me. She probably told me, but I just missed that part. You know, I missed the part of, like, how many how many it would be. Okay? I missed it. It was all good, you guys. My kids never let me live it down, though. I still hear about it. If I can get them to talk about it one time, I'll, video, I'll record it. I don't know if they'd let me tape them, but... I mean, like, take a video of it, but I'll, I'll record it, and then you guys can hear them making fun of me and this Raffi Angel. I'll put it in our Facebook group when they're together. Anyway. I talked to my daughter in Japan yesterday. She's doing great. I miss her. I told her we, how much we missed her. Because we do. We all miss her very much. And I thought my other daughter, she was supposed to come over today. And I thought she would be here during... I told her she was going to have to craft with me during our live stream. I thought she was going to be here, but she hasn't shown up yet. But it's early, you know. She she went off with her friends, and today's her day off. And so she wanted me to, like... I don't know what she wanted me to do. Today's her day off, so she was like... I told her she was going to come home, that I was going to make her craft with me. But And sometimes she does. She does. She'll sit down and craft with me. I think she just does it to humor me. So. I will try to get them recorded saying, talking about this Raffia Angel thing and you guys will laugh. Yes, my stove is broken still. I didn't, they were supposed to come today. Can, oh, the dog, the dog is trying to get up here, you guys. Oh my God. You can't get up here, baby. You can't. <laughs> she wants to sit in my lap. You want to get in my lap? But you were crying. Honey, you can't fit in my lap. I've got crafting and glue. I've got crafting and glue. She wants to sit in my lap, you guys. This is how it rolls. It's like, it's like dogs and kids. I don't know what it is. What is it, puppy? Hang on. I'm grab her. She's like trying to get in. My stove is still broken. It is still broken. She's not coming because my stove's broken? Well, no, she was here last night. She spends, she sleeps here, you know, sometimes, not all the time. But, um, okay, my raffia was not pretty colors at Ultra. My raffia was, like, raffia colored, you know. It was that color. You want to get in my lap? Come here. Come here. Come on. All right, here's the dog. She's going to say hi to everybody. You want to get on my crafting table? You can't. You can't get on my crafting table. You can't get on there. And here she is. She's going to sit. I'm going to make her sit behind me in my chair. <laughs> she wants to sit. Okay, well, if you're going to sit with me, you got to lay down. <laughs> you guys. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she wants to eat my glue. All right, sit behind me. Get behind me. Sit behind me. Are you in my chair? Here. There you go. You good? Are you good? You guys, this is so ridiculous. So, you guys, see? Raffia Angels. So, I have mastered Raffia Angeling. 
I have mastered that because I know that was just something everybody in the whole world would like to know how to do, make Rocky Angels, right? Yes, my stove is still broken. They were supposed to come today, and I got a phone call when the electric, right after the electric went out, saying <laughs> that they they weren't coming. So the, I, they'll come. It, they probably maybe they'll come tomorrow because I'm not worried about it. It's so hot here. It's like the last thing I want to do is cook anything. It is so hot. It's been so hot the past few days. So I'm not I'm not really focused on the uh, the cooking. Besides, it's just me and Mr. Wonderful, right? So, it's like so hot and we've been having salad. I made salad yesterday. We had salad yesterday and and I have the tiniest toaster oven. It's not that. It's the cooking on top of the stove part, you know? So... Hi, Craftinista. How are you? Miss Misty? Alta, my raffia was just plain old raffia. It was not fancy, beautiful, different color raffia. It was like, I can't even remember what it was from. Like, I don't know. But I made raffia angels. And I shipped them all in time. You guys, I told you. My life's ridiculous. Hottie can't live on salad alone. Well then, he better fix our stove then, because can I tell you, Brenda? I can't cook without it, and... You know, I think it'll become a priority when he's sick of eating salad. What do you think? You think it'll become a priority when he's sick of eating salad? So, I think it will be a priority for him when, when he says, I don't want another salad. You guys are so funny. Mildred, they were making fun of me because I always call him my partner. Because I'm not married to him. I was married for 20-something years, and I'm not ever going to... I don't think I'll ever get married again. And I said, I'm too old to call him my boyfriend. Because they were like, Susan started... Was it you, Susan, or was it Bet that said... Why do you call him your partner? And I said, because I don't know what to call him. I said, I'm too old to call him my boyfriend. So then Brenda said I should call him Hottie, and then somebody else said I needed to call him Poopsie. So. Because I don't know if he wants me to say his name. It's not because, you know what I mean? It's like privacy things. Not everybody likes their, their, their life out on YouTube, right? Okay, lurkers. I see you out there say hi okay now I think I'm pretty much I just have a couple of more spots left on my and then I'm gonna cover it with a napkin I could paint it first but I don't think I'm gonna need to but look even if you didn't paint it don't you think it looks cool just like it is I mean especially if you were gonna do the edges like maybe you could grunge the edges or you could do the edges with um I can call them Al Susan you're so funny um, you guys are so funny. You're ridiculously funny. So, I, you could, you could, you know, use your temples to stress ink. I know you love me, but I know you do. Hey, I can call him out. It doesn't bother me. So, I'm going to cover it with my de napkin decoupage, but do you see, like, and this is from Nothing Girls. This is from your book, because we have so many book blocks. It's not because I'm obsessed with making things out of 
paper. It's I mean out of book blocks. It's just that's what we have, right? Because we've taken I've taken so many books apart. So and I think they kind of look cool, but I'm gonna napkin decoupage this one. Thanks, Misty. I like it too. I am gonna do. Um, I am gonna take some of this napkin that I have because I liked it so much from a shabby chic journal. And I'm going to. Yeah, I think this is the front. So it's just one more thing to do with all your book pages, to do with your napkins, to do with your stuff that you have already, to do with your crafty supplies that you already have so you don't have to go buy anything else. And everybody has cardboard. I don't know one of you girls that don't have an Amazon box hanging out. Um, the one thing I will tell you, post office cardboard is a, is a lot denser. So if you're going to use post office cardboard, your things are going to be heavier than you can imagine. I don't know exactly what they use for post office cardboard, but I've used it to make um, tags and stuff, boxes that I've you know received. So instead of me just taking it right back and taking it to the to the recycling center, I've cut them up. But their their cardboard is much thicker. So, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, we all have little bits and pieces. You, everybody likes a one-of-a-kind something, you know. It's a great way to use the supplies that you already have and make your mess with it. So... Now, I would definitely seal this after I finished. I haven't sealed the birds before, but I think I would seal this one because it has the napkin. Maybe I don't wouldn't need to, but you could do it with Mod Podge. But you want to let it dry before you add any more layers of anything to it. At least that's my view. You know, like, let it dry thoroughly and then go back and add your your layer of Mod Podge or your layer of whatever. Now, can you imagine if you made these much smaller? If you made, what did Alta say? I'm missing it. Glitter the edges? Yes. With some vintage glitter glass? Yes, absolutely. Yes, it's my version of a bird, Misty. It's kind of a wonky bird, but it's my version of a bird. And I'll show you a couple of them that are finished already. So, yes, I agree with you. Alta, if I had some glitter glass, I would go for it. Especially that old, the old antique glitter glass. How many of you girls have that? That's so awesome. But just think about these in like miniature form. So like if you took it down and you didn't make it quite this big, if you made it in the one to one and a half inch size, you could make a lot of really cute journaling charms. What do you guys think? Yes, don't you think you could make a lot of cool and nice journaling charms? I totally do. I could see it. I could see the journaling charms. I'm trying to cut it because I don't want it to get in the glue. I think I'm going to leave the back where it's sort of half and half, where it's sort of partially decoupaged and partially Partially, I mean, partially napkin and partially book pages. Hey, Victor! Are you, is Victor really here, or is it you guys making fun of me and saying, calling out men's names because I was talking about? So, this is a definitely a trash to treasure kind of thing. So, you can also do this with your wrapping paper and with your tissue paper. So if you wanted to stamp on your tissue paper and right, I'm gonna let it totally dry and then I'm gonna I will coat it with something else. I think I will coat it with a put a coat of I just need to get the sides down. Put coat it with a thing of Mod Podge or something like that, you know? Not 
not diamond glaze because I don't want it to be like I don't want to add any more dimension to it because it's already pretty fat but what do you guys think I like it with the book pages and with the heart what do you think hi Victor oh you were gonna go get blueberries ooh that sounds awesome we're happy you're here Victor if you guys haven't been over to see Victor's channel, go see what he's making. He's doing a whole series of making tags and stuff from found objects, and it's really cool. He's done a really cool series. When's your next video, Victor? When's your next live stream, Victor? So I'm just going to let it sit. I need to, like, prop it up on something to put my wax paper away. This is a great, I have some French book pages. I got, somebody brought me a French literature book and um, it, I love it. And it has um, just beautiful writing in it. The font of it is really nice. So I think I'm gonna, maybe I'll do a couple of, in, in a font like that. I mean, use, let me clean my desk off. I gotta lay this down somewhere. It's sticking to my hands. I'm having a moment, it's sticking. So what are you guys writing? I haven't seen your foil flower video yet, Victor. I'm going to watch it because I love foil. So I definitely. Night, Mildred. Are you leaving, Mildred? No, Susan's leaving. Who's leaving? Susan or Mildred? Susan's going to bed. Good night, Susan. Maybe I'll see you on Tuesday. Tuesday we'll be doing, at the same time, I don't know, but we've been making a shabby chic journal may work a little bit on that. We may work a little bit on these. I don't know. I don't know. If you can just hang with my indecisiveness right now, then you'll be good to go. Let me clean up my desk a little. Got to work on my reindeer here. So we'll definitely make some snowflakes, and we're definitely going to, I'm definitely going to do some snowflakes and some... Not today, but some snowflakes and some snowflakes, angels. We can make seashell angels. We can make raffia angels. We can make, um, we can also just make paper angels. What are you guys writing? Hi, Epac. Yes, it will look Victorian with the glitter. I'm, I'll definitely get the... I don't have it in front of me, but I will definitely... Um, I will definitely... Get some glitter for next time. So that we can Victorian the edges. I think that's great. So... You're asking about the bird. This is just a paper bird, and here's a few. I've made these many times, and they're just made out of cardboard, and this is the one we worked on today, and it doesn't have the beak or the wing, right? You can make them any size. And hang on, you guys, the dog. Do you want to get down? Then get down. You're driving me crazy. Can you go, please? dog it's like decided she wants to sit in my lap and then she doesn't want to sit in my lap and she can't sit in my lap really and then we made these these are going to be reindeer but I have to work on them a little so they're just made from cardboard recycled packaging cardboard actually they're from a you know a mailing box that I got from Amazon not and um or you could make them I think this one might be even made from a piece of super thin cardboard Good night. Night, Mildred. Night, Susan. Or Mildred, you're staying. Susan's, Susan's leaving. Okay, so we made some birds, and we're going to finish the bird. And then we made the similar thing, same as the bird, but we made it into a heart, right? Same sort of packaging. And they're all suggesting that I do some glitter around the edges to make it look Victorian. I agree. Okay? So it's just about, you know, using what you have instead of thinking that you always have to go get something else to make something new. And these are puzzle pieces. And I was saying I made these with my daughter, who's 10 now, and she was about, I don't know, she was about 7. I made them with her in her class, and they loved it. They thought it was so great. 
So I'm just encouraging all of you to use what you have. Like, don't think you need to go buy another thing to maybe need some paint or some glue, right? Because we were talking about the paint and the glue thing that you need. You need that, but these make really, once you put the nose and the eyes and the cool and the, and if you have googly eyes, that looks, works good too. I have some somewhere, but I'm not going to use that today, but these are great little brooches. Like if you wanted to just give your mail lady or bank teller or if you have a friend or if you belong to like a book club, these are like really fun little things, just inexpensive almost free things to make for people for gifts right or ornaments so this one can be the bird I guess you could do as a brooch too the, the heart you could totally do as a brooch you could totally do that as a brooch but if you've got grandkids or kids and you like to craft with them this is so fun you wait till you see the what the kids turn out. They just turn out amazing. Victor, tell me about your foil flower. I want to hear about it. Is it foil as in like a like aluminum foil food grade aluminum foil or is it like foil from like a pan or is it aluminum like as in a, as in like a can? So I'm painting the front and the back. You don't have to paint both sides, but I am. Seashell angels? Absolutely. We can do that next week. If that might, let's plan to do that next Friday because that'll give me enough time to curl up in the little they call it an attic here, but you guys, you can't really stand up in it. It's like a, it's like a crawl space or whatever above your, you know what I mean. It's like, you can't stand up inside of it. All my Christmas stuff is up there, so I'll, I'll get them down. And if I can't get them down, I'll just make some new ones and show you. It's not that hard. You just need some fan shells, you know, the shells that, that are like, that look like this. And I'm not a good drawer, so don't like, you know, like this. You know, they and they're round, and they usually have like ridges in them, like this. You just need a shell like that, okay? It doesn't have to be that big, but you need a shell. That's really all you need, and some ribbon, and I, or tool. I like to use um, super sheer ribbon, and if you have any of that glitter that you're talking about, that looks really nice on these um, on the angels. It's a really nice touch for your angels if you have, if you have that. So, when you guys are at a yard sale, grab yourself a puzzle. You can get them for, I got a puzzle for like 50 cents. I usually make embellishments for my journals with them or altered puzzle pieces. Do any of you guys ever make that? Did anybody ever make altered puzzle pieces for your junk journals? I do. Sometimes I just sometimes I make them like paper clips. Sometimes I use them like as in on the in the bottom of a tag or something like that or uh, in a on a corner pocket or stuff like that. Okay, well that one needs to dry, and this one probably needs another coat. Okay, Victor's saying his flower is made of foil which is wrapped around the neck of a bottle of champagne. Very nice! And other varieties of wine in any case, in any case you have. Awesome! I can't wait to see him, Victor! That sounds so cool. Very cool. Diana, are you still around or did you exit and leave us? Are you still here, Miss Diana? If you guys want to join our Facebook group, please do. 
I mean, it's not a swapping group. It's just really a, a group of support and showing your crafts and creativity. It's just really a a uh, a group of friendship. I think there's a ton of swapping groups out there, and that's not always necessary in my book. So. Yeah, the one thing we are doing is we do have a rack list in there, so if you wanted to join that list, you could. And a rack is a random act of kindness. It's not required. So it's like if you have extra stuff you wanted and just felt like you wanted to send out to somebody, there's a whole list of that. Not required. Not required to give or receive to participate. You don't have to do any of it. We are going to send, or some of us are sending Noni's grandmother who's turning 100. We're sending her birthday cards, so she's not in our group, but Noni is. So if you guys were interested in making and celebrating somebody's 100th year of life and wanted to send her a birthday card, join the group and you could send her grandma a card. Which I'm actually excited to send Noni's grandma a card. Can you imagine? I can't even imagine being a hundred. Everything you've seen in a hundred years of your life would be amazing. Wouldn't that be totally, totally amazing? I would love that. So who's still here? Tell me who's here. Are you here, Bet? Are you here, Susan? Who's still crafting? Who's got glue all over themselves? Like me, I've got glue on my hands everywhere. And okay, I need to let these totally dry. Okay, after they've totally dried, I'm gonna come back and I'll make some eyes. I may even put some, I don't know if I have any, what kind of glitter I have. I have to look through my glittering. So then it's just going to have like a little nose, a little nose and two little eyes and then I'm, um, I'm going to might shade it so that it looks a uh, different color. Carla's here, Susan's here. I did start the Shabby Chic Journal, Mildred. I don't have it in front of me. We started two of them. We made a cover and we started making the pages for it. And so that's what we did last time. We, we laid it out and made pages. Now we have to lace it up and shabby it up. And we can work on that. I think we're going to work on that on Tuesday. I think we're going to do part three. But if you haven't started, it's not too late. It's not that difficult. Mine just has, um, I made an envelope style one and we're making a hardcover style one. So we worked on the envelope style one on Tuesday. We um, napkin decoupaged the cover. Um, that's where that flowery that flower is from and then we I tea dyed some paper that's when my oven blew up weren't you here you weren't here for that Mildred my oven caught on fire on Wednesday is that ridiculous so I went <laughs> oh my god Mildred see see what you've missed you've missed my oven catching on fire it was actually my stove that caught on fire but the problem it wasn't even the stove the thing is, there was only a pot of, there wasn't anything on top. I was boiling some, I was going to make some chicken stock, and I just turned on the stove on top. It, it had been, the problem, I was explaining this to everyone last time, the problem with living in the tropics or living in a place that's completely surrounded by salt water is that all the electric stuff erodes eventually. Like, everything that's not coated heavily, and anyway, it's always an up, ongoing battle here. So, it was, it put papers in the oven to bake, my tea dyed papers, and I turned the stove on on the top to boil this, because my daughter was coming to boil this, she wanted me to cook for her, my middle daughter wanted me, she was going to be home for the afternoon and bring a friend, and she wanted me to cook for her, and this huge pop went off and it burst into flames and it's an electric stove that's ridiculous anyway 
so that was the day. So on that day, I went to my neighbor's house and I baked my tea dyed papers. You had to wash your hands. You washed 10 layers of glue off? I know. Me too. So we did start at Mildred, but it's never too late. And we didn't get as far along as I'd like to be, but you know what? It's a process. So, yes, the birds are very gluey. They're fiddly. They're like making buttons, right? They're totally like making buttons. How many cats do you have, Ash? Yes, my hands are still gluey, even though I've finished gluing. They're still gluey. You saw Ash running around with a cat glued to her hand? Alright, you guys, hang on one second and I'm going to be right back. i got to wash my hands too. Okay, pup, you gotta move. You gotta get out from under my table. Move, 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 puppin. Move. Oh, okay, you guys, I'm telling you, I have glue all over me, too. Okay. I was gonna show you guys what Fiona sent me, but I've got so much glue all over me. That, and on my table. I'm going to wait until Tuesday to show it to you. She sent me the nicest, most amazing things. And she's not, no, Phaedra sent me. And she's not even here, so. Anyway. Let's discuss. I'm going to have a finish of these on Tuesday, okay? My reindeer, because they're just, I've got glue everywhere, and paint everywhere and so in the meantime I will try and get some glitter for my heart and I will make the beak and the bird and the wing for the bird it's not difficult so all you need to do is just trace the tip and then cut a piece of lighter weight cardboard for it and the same with the bird unless you wanted to do a painted wing or something on your bird and then um, I can show you on Tuesday how to make this eye if you want to know how to make that simple wiring technique. And or I can show you how, or you can do like I did this small one where I just put the needle through it, where I just poked a hole and put a needle through it. Okay, girls, does that sound good? So I think on Tuesday we'll work a little on our Chubby Cheek Journal and maybe we'll discuss or start um, our angels, okay? And we can finish our birds, but now that you guys get the general idea of it, you can go with it. Danina, are you going to be making a million... Hey, Joyce. Are you going to be making a million birds? Oh my god, you guys are so funny. Yes, it was a bummer that my... That, um... My stove blew up. But you know what? It's life. It's just, and then today the electric went out. That was ridiculous. But it went out on the whole town, my whole town. So I don't even know. I'm sure we'll hear tomorrow what it was. It was out for a bunch of, like... It was out for at least three hours. So somebody said that they think somebody ran into the, one of the Transformers. You're probably right.
You're working on your jewels. What kind of jewels are you making? Tell us, Epec, what kind of jewels are you making? Well, now you guys get an idea of what you can do, and then I'll show you guys how to make this. This is just so super simple. Like, look, you can see the food packaging on the back. Can you see it? This is just with a circle punch. It's a flower made with a circle punch. And I didn't even paint the back of the, looks like it was a pizza box or a stovetop stuffing box. I didn't even paint it. But you can make it really big too. You don't have to make it small. It could make. But now you see you don't even need to go buy Christmas ornaments. You could just make them yourself. Oh, thanks Joyce. My birdie is purdy. I'm gonna, before our next stream, I'll take down all the ones that are in my windows and dust them off because they've been in there for since last Christmas. They've been in the in the window. I just hang them back in the window and then hang them on the tree. The kids like to hang them on the windows. Um, and I'll show you some of the birds. You know, and whoever said paint them, yes, you can paint your birds. You don't have to do them with book pages. I just did them with book pages because that's what I have. I think they would, if you made these hearts, they would look great as a banner. But it just gives you an idea that, you know, you don't need to go and spend any money on stuff like this. And if you take it down and make it smaller, in fact, maybe next week, next Friday, we'll do Christmas in July again and maybe we'll make the angel ornaments and maybe I'll cut out, spend some time to cut these out smaller you can see how you can turn them into journaling charms and brooches journaling charms brooches and different stuff like that what do you guys think and that was just with a napkin okay so save your little pieces of your napkin from your napkin decoupage and save your um tissue paper you know tissue paper if you stamp on it it comes out really great the thing is, if you were going to use this for like a brooch or you were going to use it for um, a journaling charm, I would totally let it cut dry and then put some sort of a hardener on it. Either a Mod Podge, they have a dimensional Mod Podge, or a acrylic spray, or even a dimensional glaze. Not because you want dimension, but just so you want to make it harder so it lasts longer if people are going to touch it with their hands. Or an acrylic spray of some kind. So girls and gentlemen and Victor, Mr. Victor Crafter, go and check out Victor's stuff. It's awesome. You got a whole box of tissue for a dollar. That's awesome, Misty. Get out your stamps and start stamping on them. I mean, it, this is just gives you an idea of things that you can do. You don't have to do my hearts or my birds, but or hearts or birds. I mean, they're not mine. Birds are everyone's and hearts are everyone's, but you know, you can do a lot of different things with them. You got them for a penny a pack? Oh my gosh, Misty. Yes, Victor, it's two, it's just cardboard. It's cardboard covered in book pages just like this. And then I took a piece of a napkin and I put on top of it. A piece of a napkin, that's it. That is all it is. And they were telling me I should put some glitter glass, you know, the uh, glitter, the, the German glitter, the glass glitter on it and make it, um, but that's all it is. And so if you were gonna make it into a Christmas ornament, all you need to do is either, you know, glue a ribbon on it so you could hang it or poke a hole in it, put a string in it. If you were gonna make it smaller, make it a brooch, you'd obviously wanna put a pin back on it or or some magnets, right? Two magnets so that you could put one inside your clothes. And if you were gonna make journaling charms out of them, um, I would just poke a hole and, I would just poke a hole and string, put some thread or, you know, 
wire or whatever through it. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even think twice about it. That's all it is. Cardboard, you guys. Me and my cardboard. You know me and my save and my cardboard. You know me and my recycling. Now, those of you that do mixed media art, you know, I had a whole conversation with a lady the other day who was talking to me about wanting to wow epec that sounds awesome i want to see it make sure that you post in our facebook group if you haven't joined join crafting mamas you too victor please join us we'd love to have you be a member I mean, we're just posting the things we do. And post your channel, too, so that people support you and come and watch your live streams. It's really about all of us. It's really about just a crafting community. Um, I was having a conversation with a lady who was talking to me about mixed media art. And she was talking to me about how she wanted to make some sort of things, like steampunk art or stuff like that and she didn't really have she didn't want to spend a lot of money on supplies that she wasn't you know like brand expensive supplies just to change the color and glue them down so we talked about making your components out of cardboard What are you saying? Okay, I'm sorry. So she's making it. Okay, Epec is saying she's making a necklace of a hundred different glass beads and an old charm strings that girls used to make in the Civil War. And then, hey Jennifer. And then she says they would do 999 buttons and trinket charms. And then the story went that when they found the thousandth thing. They would meet their true love. That's awesome. 999. Not 9,099. Okay. That's awesome. So she has an Etsy store and it's called Fitted For You. Well, join our Facebook group and then you can post it and then people can go see. Okay. And for those of you that have purchased stuff from my Etsy shop, all of it went out. I made two, one amazing journaling kit that after I made it, I was like, I love all this stuff. And one grab bag. So if you're waiting on that, it's, it's getting to you. Well, I can't wait to see it. I bet it's awesome. So for those of you that do mixed media art, use your cardboard. Make it as a component in your work. You know, you don't. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to go spend a ton of money. Make it from what you have. All right, friends. I am going to say aloha to each and every one of you. Everybody, breathe in and exhale. And from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, 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 so much aloha. So Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, I'll, I'll stream again. We'll work on our Shabby Chic Journal. We'll finish up some of our Christmas ornaments. And um, Friday again as well. We'll continue with our Christmas in July theme and maybe make some ornaments. And um, save. bring your cardboard with you, your... Um, Hi, Pam. Um, bring your cardboard mail. You know, the happy, your junk mail that's thicker cardboard will make a Christmas card. Yes, I agree, Victor. From cardboard in general, you can do amazing things. And so bring your, your junk mail, the heavier weight cardboard kind of junk mail, and we'll make a Christmas card or make the blank for it so that you can see how to put your ornaments inside of it so that they don't get smashed. Good night, Susan. Big hugs. I love you, girls. Good night, Bet. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Thanks for joining me. And as always, 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 sending you so much aloha. You guys head over to our Facebook group and you can continue the chat. Good night, Joyce.
Good night, everybody. See you next week. See you Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Good night, Jennifer. Happy you came. Happy we see you.